Hello, welcome to Tech Sharma. In this session, we will learn about one more way through which we can read the physical file data. So this time we are using the chain of code. So let's go through the program. So here, as usual, we are again writing the code in fully free format, and we have specified two control options that is no debug I/O and SRCSTMT. This is mainly for the debugging purpose. Now below to that we are we have declared one physical file in which uh, which we will use to extract the data. So from this physical file uh, mainly we are extracting the data. So I have declared it in input mode because we just want to read the data. We, we are not updating anything here. That's why I'm using is in input mode. And this is a key file. That's why I'm writing it here key. Two. Now. On line number 18, we have declared one variable that we will use to store the key value. So here I'm using the uh, 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 declaring the variable key value, uh, which is of numeric type of size four. Okay. Now below to that we are setting the pointer on the file. Okay. So I'm using key value as two because I want to fetch all the record which is having employee ID as two. Okay. So before we discuss further lines, let's see the physical file data so here I'm hitting this query select start from EMP PF1 so these are the data uh, we are having in this physical file so what we are trying to do we are trying to access all those record which is having employee ideas too so same thing we do in previous session also like we do the same thing but at that time we are using read E but here today we will see the use of chain opcode so let's discuss so what is chain opcode? Chain opcode is a combination of set LL as well as read E. Okay. So if you don't want to set the pointer and uh, then you don't want to use the uh, read E, then you can do the same both the things inside uh, with just one single line with the help of chain opcode. So mainly we are using setting the pointer here. You can write using chain opcode, right? Okay. So what it will do it will set the pointer as well as read the first record so here we are not uh, required to uh, again run the read e command for reading the first record we are just doing the both the things set ll as well as read e in same line line number 25th so it will set the pointer and it will read for the key value now below to that whenever we are using set ll we use this built-in function that this is percentage found so what it will check it will check uh, like whenever we are uh, doing chain so it reads the data and if it is not end of file it means if uh, that record founds in the file then we can uh, go inside the main logic otherwise we will display this message like end of file because if record is not found then we will directly display this that end of file otherwise we will display the uh, record i employee id and name so after checking this if condition so this is the built-in function that we always use with the chain of code that is percent found and inside that we are again writing uh, running one loop to extract the data till the not end of file okay so i'm just displaying the employee id employee name and uh, we are again using the read e so here we are using read e but uh, if you remember in previous session, we are uh, doing one more ready here also after set LL, we are doing ready. So those two line are combined inside this one single line. Okay. And after that, we are just displaying the records and setting the star INLR equals to star on. So let's compile and check whether we are getting the correct output or not. So it returns to Abhishek Kumar, then Prashant, then Karthik and then Tarun. Okay, so we are getting the correct output. So if uh, let me change the value, we if, if we look at uh, at the data, then we don't have any record with the employee ID seven. So let's make it seven. So I'm changing the key value as seven, and then I will try to compile and call this program again. So I'm calling it again. So it shows end of file why because after just you after uh, the line with chain executed it checks in this if found and it doesn't found the record so it will go inside the else block and it displays this message end of file 
okay so that's why we always uh, use this percentage found built-in function whenever we are using the chain of code so yeah this is the way through which we can read the physical file data we have seen multiple things through which we can read the physical file data as per our requirements and chain is also one of, from them okay so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching texture method